Hello, thank you for joining Raspi PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you some Python coding about printing. So, print will put some text onto the screen. Now, you can use the single quote or double quote, whichever you wish, uh, but I'll show you the way you may run into some problems. Personally, I prefer using the single quotes, um, but like I say, um, there will be a problem when you are quoting um, some text and you need to put like it and then you've got it's so you'll have that in there that will throw it out <laughs> um, so anyhow let's print something first the good old hello world the um, famous thing that everybody uh, does so there you go it's just printed it to the to the screen. Um, like I say, you can yeah, you can use double quotes. Um, like so. Um, but in regards to the problems that you may run into, so if I do it my way, so I use the single quotes. Um, It's a nice day out. Yeah, so notice how there we've got a problem. So it's got my print, the um, parentheses bracket, and then the single quote, it, and then the single quote again. So that's how you normally write it's. Um, but what you can do is put an escape character by using the backslash and notice how the rest of the text has gone to green now so if I press enter on that it's printed but if I uh, have if I had not have put that backslash in there I would get a syntax error um, so if you were wanting to do it uh, you could do it in this sort of fashion so you'd have your You'd start your print by doing some um, quotes and then do your text um, writing. Um, don't even have to make sense. It's all good. And then, as long as if you match up at the end with the three that I entered at the beginning, then it's still going to work. So that's some ways that you can use the print. Um, now I'm using Python 3.7 as you can see here um, and also here. Depending on what version you are running there is other ways that you can print stuff. There's f-strings, there's um, the format um, method. Um, so if I was to declare a variable which I will go into another video. So if I put my name into A so that's stored in and if I press A it will display it um, but if I want to print my name is now there's different ways that people do this um, they can use concatenation where they would have a space and then do the quotation whether it's a single or a double and then they would put plus and then A and then a bracket to close off that print and that there you go but there is other ways that you can do it uh, notice I am pressing up so I can get to that line press enter and it will basically bring that line up here so I don't have to rewrite it every time um, so there is other ways like I say you can do it this way and put a comma uh, it will put it in with a space again like there we put the space in itself but using concatenation it actually adds it to the end of the string because a is a, a string variable um, so because I did it that way it's that way um, there is another way so if I put print now depending on which version you're on 3.6 or 7 I think it came into it if you put an F and then a 
um, the quotation mark um, my name is and then you put curly brackets um, and then it will put in oops, a and then you curly bracket um, and that will then print my name is Martin um, but the way that I have always done it because I didn't have um, I didn't have um, just get rid of it all um, because I didn't ha I have I used to have I think it was 3.5 on my previous um, Raspbian setup that I had um, so I used to do this so um, my name is and then you would put them nothing in there but when you've done that put dot format and then put your um, variable that you're putting into it so that would work as well okay um, I think that's pretty much it for the print statement um, you can get it to print out numbers so I mean I have been working with strings there strings are forms of text um, you've got values so if I put 5 plus 5 that will just give me the answer for that um, so that's pretty much it for the print sort of thing um, if you have any questions please feel free to post into the comments below um, I can share and subscribe and thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next Python tutorial